Hello everyone. Thank you so much for listening to this lightning talk. My name's Sophie. I'm a member of this team and I'm really excited to get to share our project with you today. And because of the time constraint, I'm hoping to move through this information as quickly, but as successfully as possible. So bear with me. Uh, today we're going to be talking about our project where we were using publicly accessible tools to create an open access index database on periodicals published during the late Qing and Republican areas in East Asia. And this project was a collaboration between GW staff and graduate students like myself um, at G George Washington University. Just a quick overview of what I'll be talking about today. I'm going to give kind of an introduction to our index database and then begin to go through our workflow for creating what is a data visualization of these periodicals in Tableau. So we start by collecting data from Social Feed Manager and then extract the data into a, a usable metadata format using Python. And then we clean up that data using Excel. And then finally, we put it in Tableau for it to be visualized and for users to interact with and utilize as a resource. And then finally, I'm hoping to talk to you all a little bit about limitations for this project and our future plans. Just an overview of the index database. We created this database through tweets. So this was actually kind of a crowdsourcing effort in where we were using Social Feed Manager to extract information to create this Tableau map. And we were hoping to create an index database on periodicals published during the late Qing and Republican areas in East Asia. And as you can see, we were successful. On the right, there's our Tableau visualization of that. And as I mentioned, I'm just going to kind of go through our workflow for this process today. In terms of the initial data collection, we started with Social Feed Manager. So we captured tweets through individual accounts or hashtags or keywords, and we used a couple specific fields that we thought would be the most helpful in forming metadata and creating a really great mapping tool for users. And some of those include the text, the tweet type, and URLs that are relevant. So like a link to a database or a tweet. Next, we move to data extraction using Python. So one of our team members, Kahan, was able to put together a um, Python code that helped us more quickly parse through and extract data from the raw Twitter material and social feed manager. And this, if you look to the right side, can be seen. So we use this to capture Chinese characters as well as capture the start and end year of periodicals as well as the number of issues of periodicals published for each source. Next, we move to data cleanup using Excel. So we extracted data directly from tweets, including title, start, end year, number of issues, URL, and description, but they still need a little bit of cleanup before they were ready to go right into Tableau. So we went through and cleaned that up using Excel, and then we also used geocoding functions in QJS to add a latitude and longitude to each of these locations so that we can actually put them on the map in Tableau. Next, we move to our final stage, which is data visualization using Tableau. As you can see on the photo on the left, this kind of shows how searches can be filtered and some of the data that users will see when they are using this tool. So that includes title, location, language, number of volumes, and a brief description. And then you see at the bottom, there's a browse content option. So you can actually look at the periodicals on Internet Archives themselves. It was really exciting for us to be able to create a tool in Tableau that was so interactive and allowed a dashboard that could incorporate filter options for those utilizing this tool. Our previous projects have been on ArcGIS Online, which was very interactive um, and was a great tool, but we were excited to continue branching out and experiment with Tableau. Finally, limitations and future plans. We are, in terms of limitations, we are not the original content providers or content owners because this data was coming from Social Feed Manager from data in tweets. So just making sure we're really cognizant of relevant permissions and access. 
as well as if this remains or the original tweet and material remain accessible to us. And then the digitized materials are also subject to change. So being cognizant of that and kind of just keeping a good awareness of if something's changed. We also will need to find a way to track the accessibility for each title and create similar index databases using information for tweets and other data sources. Finally, we want to share our tips on how to use Social Feed Manager and Tableau if there's interest. Finally, we just want to acknowledge um, we had a project advisor from Harvard professor, Peter Bull, who inspired this, as well as the support we've received from the libraries and academic institutions and departments within GW, as well as the anonymous Twitter providers. Thank you so much.